You know, a lot has changed when it comes to getting Indian groceries. You can now go to your regular grocery store and find Indian masalas and spices. And some grocery stores even have opened up their own grocery store chains for Indian groceries. Yeah, no. Why don't you back off and stick to selling hamburger helper light mashed potato seasoning or whatever the f you sell, okay? Your local friendly neighborhood Indian grocery store. You know the one that I'm talking about. And if you don't, that's okay, because a lot of them were like pretty much the exact same. You know, those ones that were inconspicuously head throughout random plazas and had just absolutely beautiful and gorgeous, colorful, and very creative signs. And as soon as you'd walk in, you'd feel like you were at a professional recording studio because there's no sound, there's no echo, there's no reverb because of the amount of shit that was in that grocery store. They had the same amount of produce and items as a big, huge, like, chain grocery store would have, but just compact into a tiny little shop. The shelves were overflowing with spices, tea jars, boxes, products on the shelves that were hiding other different products behind them, products on the floor, the wall, and other really random places that you never expect to find anything. And a lot of the items themselves have like a thin layer of like dust and dirt on them. Authentic dust and dirt from the motherland. Because we all know how clean and hygienic those transportation methods were. And when you're walking through the produce section, you felt like you were walking through a forest because there's all these like little leaves and greenery and shrubs sprawling all about the floor. Oh, it's because you hired a poor old Baba as your janitor. Okay, it's poor old Baba just walking around with a mop and an oversized cloak, wondering if the trade-off of coming to Canada was even worth it. And the other staff in the store were like young aunties and women that were like too shy to make eye contact with you and you would try to ask them a question. Alright, excuse me? Hello? Yeah. Sasuko? I don't see a price on this, so how much is this? What? Sorry? What was that? Is it higher or low? I literally can't hear anything that you're saying right now. This is like a regular person volume. Length? Your length. Just three three floors below. So. Oh, it's five dollars. I'm just gonna say it's five dollars. It was the big department box size white people grocery stores that had the big ass signs on the aisles like rice, snacks, cereal, pudding dressing. I don't know. No, because the way things were organized in the store was if something had a similar taste or smell or was included in the same recipe of something else would kind of maybe sort of be like strategically placed with other things of the same manner, maybe. I mean, I at least had some idea as to where some things were, but then you'd see like these poor old white people that would occasionally walk in and have no idea where to find anything at all. And they'd approach like random Indian people in the store because they assumed that they'd work there. Ah, it's, uh, excuse me, sir. Is this the spice that you guys put in the, the like the food or is this, is this the spice? Oh, um, I'm not, I'm not sure. It says Andra. Avakia, Avaki, Avakia pickle? Is this it? Am I looking for the right one? I don't really know. I'm not sure. Yeah, my wife's trying to cook Indian. We're doing an Indian night on Tuesdays. So we're trying to learn how to cook you. Is this the one that, the spice that you put in? You know the Indian spice that goes in all the food? Uh, I mean, you could try maybe like another aisle or something. We're trying to make butter chicken. I wouldn't know, so. Why not? I don't know, I just. Why don't you know? I don't know. What are you, what are you doing here, buddy? I mean, I'm just. I'm like just looking around. Hey, what are they paying you for, huh? No, I wouldn't. Oh, what they, what, they just pay you guys to stand here and look around? Is that what they're doing now, here? Why would they pay me to look around? Oh, so they don't pay you, huh? You son of a bitches, they got you working out here for okay, free. Okay, no, wait, you, you think I work here? Yeah, well, what else are you doing here, bud? I'm shopping, just like you. Well, then why do you, what do you get the, why do you look like you, uh, you know? Like what? Well, yeah. What? You look like you work here. What do you want me to say? What do you expect me to do? I'm supposed to ask you a question. How do I look like I work here? Are you sure you don't work here? Sir, I don't work here. Are you sure? 
I don't work here. I'm not an employee. Are you sure you don't work here? I'm just, I'm literally just shopping for stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ, what am I supposed to do? I got Indian food night tonight. Just like you, I'm a customer. Well, yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna file a complaint to the manager. What are you gonna talk to the manager about? I don't- For deceiving the customers, you goddamn ch- Jeez! No, I- Sir, I don't work- I don't work here! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I don't- And after I had searched for hours, and hours, and hours, and hours, and I'd given up all hope, I finally decided to talk to the store manager to see where, you know, that specific thing was at. And the conversation would go a little something like this. Um, just wondering where you guys keep the, uh, the kyo? Pechike. Where? Sorry? Leki pechike pechike. Tried, I tried looking, I don't think there's, I think you guys are out, maybe. I did go pechike. Could you maybe guys, like, could you check in the back, maybe you guys? Raju! Raju! Pechike ghee ka hai denge mundi ko! Someone in the back? Raju! Raju! I don't think there's anybody back there, so if you don't mind, if it's not too much trouble, you just check with me. <sighs> then he would finally get up himself, and I'd wait, and wait, and wait. What happened to you? The reception is a little bit cut. What happened to you? What happened to you? Wow, wow, that's so bad. What happened to you? And wait. <sighs> Did you find anything? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Yeah, you want me to do it. Didn't you go in the back to check for it? Okay, the ghee is in the other aisle. The second shelf bottom. Didn't you just come back? Back, back, back! And that same manager was always prone to get into a lot of arguments as well because there was no customer is right policy because keep in mind a lot of the customers were Indian people who were accustomed to bargaining. Therefore the customer is always right does not a real thing. It's not existent in Indian grocery stores. Not a, don't even try to use that chip. But yeah, cash out or cash out? Yes, yes, okay, yes. This is $2.59. And then I mean, you know, I just, I started to feel bad for the manager again. Probably had to deal with this all the times, this headache, this stress. This constant yelling. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but hey, this isn't just your traditional grocery store, folks. That's right, this also doubled as a one-stop shop for religious artifacts. You could get appliances, you could get small, barely broken TVs, all sorts of multimedia, that's right, CDs and DVDs. Your favorite Bollywood movies, your favorite soundtrack to those Bollywood movies, which would obviously be bootlegged. That's my Vikram Sani Granti! Ha 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 ha! Let's get out of here, let's talk about it. Okay, yeah, okay, bye. Coco. Hey. Oh my god, holy shit, my friend, how you doing? Man, you're working here too, huh? Yeah, no, that's because I'm a hardworking man. I'm not lazy asshole shit like you. Okay, kind of uncalled for. Yeah, what do you want? You're wasting my time. I just wanna, like, what's a new Bollywood movie that I can grab for my mom? My mom said she wanted a movie to watch. Acha, Bollywood movie. Hello. Anything that you recommend? I think this is a brand new movie. You can show your mom. 
Here you go, my friend. Ten ninety nine. Yeah. Ten dollars? Are you kidding? Oh, what a deal! Oh my God, you are lucky. It's like a bootleg copy. I don't know, it's brand new. The cover was printed on like a color printer. No, no, no. This is a like faded paper. When you flying on the plane, the the all the. You know the hawa, it's making the paper like here a little bit. That's why it looks like color printer. <laughs> the cuts aren't even made right. This is like crooked. Look at this. You still see the white. What are you talking about, man? This is, you know, the vagina they're working in the factory. They're cutting themselves. Some guys don't even have a scissor. They're using their teeth to chop. That's why it looks like that, man. Put this printed on a blank CD. No, it's not printed on the CD because they're trying to save the paper. It's man. a CD scratch, though. What scratch? What are you talking about, scratch? This is a brand new. CD, man. Okay, how's the video quality on this? Can you pop it in? Okay, let me show you. It's brand new. It's brand new. Uh, dude, are you kidding me, Uncle? The footage is shaky. High depth, high quality. High 17K. That's picture quality. Set. Somebody was recording this on a camcorder in a movie theater. I can't even see it's blur. Look, it's blurry. No, no, this the uh, it's the screen, man. My screen is messed up. You know, it's shaking all the time. The battery is low. It's dying, man. Keyboard's not working. Uncle, oh, that's bootleg. No, it's no, not. It's, no, no, it is no, no. It's bootleg. My friend, yes, it brand is. New. I'm not paying ten dollars. Why would you throw that? Oh, don't worry, man. It's like only cost me ninety nine cents to me. Wait, what? All oh, right, uh, I mean, uh, plus ten dollars. <laughs> 99 plus $10, that's why I said uh, 10.99. But I'm giving you a discount, man. Oh my God, I'm, it cost me 10.99 to make, I'm giving you $10. You guys, I can't they know what you want. You guys are, you too much. You're asking too much. We didn't, uh, back when I was growing up, I didn't, we didn't even have a movies. I never saw a movie in my life till I came in 1985. That's when I first saw a movie, man. Terminator 2, man. But all in all, even with all the ridiculous and hilarious things that took place in Indian grocery stores, it still had its own charisma and charm that I loved. And it's sad to see a lot of these small businesses in Indian grocery stores that now have to shut down because bigger chain grocery stores are coming in and they have Indian products, but they don't have that charm and those smells and sights and sounds. The janitors are a little bit different. They don't tell a good bedtime story, I'll tell you that much. If you are going out to buy groceries, do go to your local grocery, Indian store grocery. Go ahead and support them, give them your money. Anyways, that was the video for this week. If you guys have any of your own funny stories from Indian grocery stores, put them in the comments below. I'll reply to the funny ones, the non-funny ones. I I won't even read, okay? I won't even read the non-funny ones. How, how would you know if they're even funny that you don't even- Shut up, you stupid, dumb, question kid version of me. Okay. And if you enjoyed this video, hit it with a goddamn like and do subscribe. Alright? Okay. I guess that makes sense. It's Mike, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, no, listen. They got, you know what you were talking about? Them Indians at the Indian store. Where they're working and they're not paying. They got the they got the immigrants coming in illegally working for free. Yeah, no, I'm here with one right now. They're not paying them shit. Get out of here. Who is this? Who is this? Is this your grandfather? Is this your grandfather? Get him out of here.